Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the location of the new salvage yard. Um, it's part of the DLC, the winter DLC, the December DLC. This is the new salvage yard that we're going to be getting. This is the location, and this is actually the new pickup truck that we're going to be getting, which is already in the story mode. So I'm going to be showing you how to get this if you want to test it out for yourself. Keep in mind, it is a utility vehicle, as you can see. So it's not exactly um, a v the best handling vehicle or anything like that. As you can see from this picture, they have updated it. You can see it's a nice shiny red. It's got nice chrome bumpers, whereas this one here behind me, you can see is a little rusted. Um, but that's just because it's in story mode and you can't actually modify this vehicle in story mode because it's a utility vehicle. But as you can see from us standing here, let's throw this screenshot up on the screen. Red's auto parts, pick up and auto salvage yard. And then if we fade out, you can see we are here in the exact same location, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so first of all, let's talk about this pickup truck. Now, obviously, the one in the picture, like I say, is nice and clean. So it is this vehicle. We're just going to be getting one that we can customize, which obviously means it's going to be new. And I kind of do hope that they make it just a little bit better at handling because this one, as you'll see in this video, is kind of awful. And I know what you're thinking. It's a pickup truck. Why would a pickup truck be that great at handling? Well, listen, the terabyte, I feel like it, for the size of it, that's a really good handling vehicle. And the Brickade, the 6x6, that vehicle can can haul you know what i mean and that thing i feel like drives really well whereas this come on it's small and nimble if they're giving us a new version at least have us be able to upgrade it maybe we'll be able to do the brakes on it put it like a, a turbo on it and stuff like that like we can with most of our vehicles so if we can do that at least that'll be good so if we go ahead and get inside of the vehicle i'll just show you what the interior looks like here so here she is inside like i say nothing special kind of just an older vehicle and then you can see out here behind us but in all honesty i'm just getting excited I just, I just can't wait for a new DLC, man. And I think towing vehicles and bringing them here for scrap is going to be quite fun. But right here behind me, this is where the dogs are. Right here. So if you see on this picture again one more time, it is this spot right here. We have the dogs just chilling here on the floor. But anyway, as far as this building right now, it is just an empty husk. There is, there is nothing inside of it, but it is a really big building. As you can see on this side, we have a garage door. And I don't know if they're going to have the entire building be part of this. But on the other side, as you can see, there is also another garage door. Now, if we go around the side and look at the roof of this thing, all right, so here we are just up on the water tower here, or oil tower, or silo, or whatever it bloody is. But this is big. You can see there's a lot of square footage in this building. Now, I personally think that this is going to be kind of like the vehicle warehouse. You know, when you go inside and there's just a bunch of vehicles and things, and it just looks like a warehouse. I think that's what this is going to look like inside, more so than, say, the auto shop, which I feel like this business is going to be more similar to. Now, the reason I say that is because, like, within the auto shop, you have a little garage for yourself, which I do think you'll have in here. You have a customization area, which I do think we'll have in here, since this is going to be, I mean, it is a salvage yard, but it's going to be like a chop shop. We're going to be able to bring vehicles in here and we do have don't forget the modification the new modification for drifting and i think that's going to be done in here and then obviously you've got living quarters and stuff like that so i, I think it's going to be a pretty big decent sized building much nicer and newer and more modern than say a vehicle the vehicle cargo warehouse I think it'll be more nicer and new, more so like the auto shop. But having like the insides be more like the, the vehicle warehouse as far as just having cars scattered around everywhere. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm mixing my words here. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's take this thing for a little test drive and see how it does. So like I say, as you can hear it, it's a big, old, heavy tow truck. There is absolute turning radius on it. It's awful. There is really not much to be desired about this vehicle. Um, but I can't wait to see how they implement it into this new, uh, this new winter DLC. Is it going to be like the, the vehicle cargo warehouse where we have to go steal vehicles, but instead of driving them, we've got to use this thing. But then people are going to say, well, why would I use that? Why can't I just steal the car using the tow truck might be kind of stupid. I don't know. None of us know. All right. So anyway, let's get down here to this car park and let's, uh, let's tow some of these things. Okay. You hear this thing creaking and rattling? <laughs> She's an old dog. It's okay. So anyway, this is how you are going to be using this. First and foremost, you have the lights up here. Kind of cool. Uh, but this is how you're going to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to back up to a vehicle. And then as soon as you get close enough, it automatically hooks on like you just saw right there. But if you don't, on your controller at least, if you're on controller, your left analog stick, if you pull that all the way down, 
It'll have it in its low point, which is what we have right here. That's why the vehicle's on the ground. And then if you push it up, you can see it's slowly raising. And then this is the, the way you're going to have it for when you're transporting uh, the vehicles. Now, obviously, driving around with them, it doesn't feel like it slows you down really at all. But you do need to be careful because it can unhook. So if you're like driving fast on, say, like a freeway or something, this thing will unhook and you'll have to go and get it. And I'm assuming they're going to want to make sure that you do not damage this thing. So I'm going to show you the locations where you can find this here in a second. But first of all, let's take it back to our new salvage yard and um, show you how to unpack this thing. So if we go into our menu right here, the salvage yard is going to be in this location right here. It is this building. Now, for me, this is actually my vehicle cargo warehouse. So I am right next to it. So I'm really happy with that. So let's go ahead and speed this up until we get there. All right. So here is the Maze Bank Arena. And this is the location of it right here. Now, for me, typically, I would, like I say, turn left right there. And just down there is my vehicle cargo warehouse. But for us, we're going to be turning left into this right here. Now, I'm sure you guys have done plenty missions here before, whether it's in story mode or in GTA Online. But you're going to drive down this little, little alleyway right here. And here she is. This is the building right here. Now, I'm assuming we're going to be able to just drive straight in um, when this comes out. But anyway, let me show you how to unhitch this thing once you've got it on the hitch. So once you've got it on here, you're going to lower it, like I say, with a left analog. And once it's down on the ground, for a controller at least, you're going to hold the right D-pad. And as you can see, it just unhitches. Now, if you tap the right D-pad, that's what your lights are going to be. But if you hold it, that's how it unhitches. And then you can just pull it all the way back up again. Now, even if it's high like it is right now, it still should automatically hitch this thing. Let's see. No, maybe if we drop it a little bit. Yeah, so we didn't even have to drop it all the way down. It actually did pick it up just from being midway. But like I say, if you hold down the right D-pad, boom, unhitches. And all right, guys. So that is the location of this new, uh, the new salvage yard. And that's how you use this new tow truck. And that's my little review on it. Technically not new. Like I say, this is in uh, GTA, just story mode, GTA 5 story mode. That's why I'm driving this right now. But if you do want to drive this yourself and you want to know where the locations is, let me show you real quick. The tow truck from its spawn locations, it could park right here next to Los Santos Customs, which is right here. Or it could also spawn right down here at, a, I think it is a, a repair shop, right? But it's going to be this location right here. So you can just drive back and forth if you're waiting for it to spawn in those locations. But in all honesty, the best way I would find is to just come onto this freeway right here and just drive down to like here, turn around, come up, drive to here, turn around, go down. And I think if you do that literally just like five times, you'll see the pickup truck. So the last thing I wanted to talk about here is how much is this going to cost? Now, I feel like this business is very similar to the auto shop. I do think it's going to have, like I say, a place where you can modify cars. I think you're going to have like a sleeping quarters. I think there's going to be a lot of customization in this thing. And I think for that reason, I it's going to be under 2 million, I would say. I think you're looking at around 1.5, 1.8 million. And that obviously doesn't include the tow truck. I have no idea how much this thing's going to cost. I can't imagine it's going to cost that much. Maybe like 600,000. I don't even think that. Maybe 100,000. You watch. GTA is going to release this thing at like 2 million. Who the bloody hell knows? But that's how much I would say this business is going to be worth. Now, I am going to have a video later on, probably next week. Um, just like I always do when a DLC comes out, just talking about how much money you should have or how much you should have saved for the new DLC. That's going to include the business, all of the upgrades for the business, all of the new vehicles, everything like that. I'll give you my estimates anyway of how much you should have saved. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is going to do it. This is the new business. Like I say one more time, this is going to be the location for it right here. But anyway, let me know in the comments section. This is what I want to hear from you. What do you expect? What would you want? What is your dream scenario for this new business? What would you like to see inside of it? What would you like it to be customizable? Do you want to be able to change the interior, the looks? What, like, how do you want the chop shop to work? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I would love to know them in the comment section down below. I'll try responding to every single comment. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys, as always, tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye!